This is a video for all of the Elder Scrolls fans. The game The Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind was released today, June the 6th, and this is the collector's edition. And because I am such a big fan of the original game Morrowind, and in fact the entire series of The Elder Scrolls, I just could not resist buying the collector's edition. So the purpose of this video is to show you exactly what is included. It does say there, but I want to show you it physically, and we can take a close look in detail as to what is actually in this box. So first of all, we have got the Dwarven Colossus statue, which actually takes up most of the box. Recreated with the help of sacred Dwarven texts, this 12 inch tall replica of the Colossus which starred in the announcement trailer and in Naryu's journal stands ready to defend your treasures. We then have Naryu's journal itself, a full colour large format book chronicling Moro Tong, assassin Naryu's pursuit of a conspiracy across Tamriel illustrated with a broad array of concept arts. We also have the map of Morrowind. Chart your adventures throughout Vardenfell with this handy map at your side. If you're wondering where I got this from, I bought it from Game and it cost $59.99, um, which actually was pretty good considering the price of some collector's editions. So yeah, there we go, nice picture there. Very dramatic. Um, but yes, we all want to see inside. Let's open it up. So there is the statue of the Colossus. And like I said, it takes up most of the box, 12 inches tall, heavily detailed, and you can actually still smell, well it smells like paint. Really is a beautiful thing. You can also see we've got the actual game in the front of there as well. All in cellophane. I'll open that a bit later. And there is actually, I think it's the blade for Colossus here as well. And there is actually an indentation built into it for it to just wedge into, just sticks in. Now, let's remove Colossus and we'll have a look underneath. So the first thing is the map. This is the Morrowind map, created specially for Old Scrolls Online. And it is actually considerably smaller than the original Morrowind map, which is a bit of a shame, but it is in colour and it's very nicely done. We then have Naryu's journal, which is a full colour print of concept art. And you, even the cellophane has got Morrowind printed on it, so it's very nicely done. It's a bit of a shame to open it really but it wouldn't really be an unboxing if we don't take a closer look. I'm going to be putting it back in here again afterwards. Now it's designed, I think, to feel like leather, but there is a bit of a plasticky smell about it. But it's still beautifully done. Very nice. Anyway, I won't show you inside. Leave that a secret. So. I would remove this, but there's loads of ties, and to be honest, I want to keep it as original as possible, so I don't think I'll actually be doing this. Just a very quick demonstration to show you where the blade sits. You can see there is a notch in the arm, and if we take a look at the back of this, you can see there is a notch on there as well. So it just slots in, and it will very easily pull out again. So for those who are interested, let's just take a look in the PC case. And you can see there is the manual with the code and of course the disc, all very nicely done. Now obviously we've got the uh, lava, but that is expected considering Red Mountain. And also we do have the PC game controls booklet in here for those who want to know exactly which controllers do what. And there we have it, a quick overview of the Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind Collector's Edition. Thanks for watching, until next time, bye for now.